Hello, welcome to Valve Channel. I'm Stephen. Last several video we already talked about the carbon steel, high temperature steel, and low temperature steel. So today, let's talk about the stainless steel. Stainless steel are very important in valve industry because if a valve made by stainless steel, so this valve will never get corrosion, never get rust. So this material are very important for the valve industry, especially for the corrosion medium flow control system. So why this kind of material have that kind of property? We need to look at uh, what kind of chemical element inside this kind of material, so we can find the answer. Here is a standard ASME B16.34, the material list table. So in this table, you will find what kind of chemical element inside one kind of material. So in this list, it already lists several different group of stainless steel. For example, the CF3, CF8. So the chemical element inside this kind of material, it contained chromium and nickel inside. And also we have CF3M, CF8M. The M represent the chemical element is MO, molybdenum. So that contained three kind of basic chemical element inside. Chromium, nickel, and molybdenum inside CF3M, CF8M. So let's look at what is the function for those kind of chemical element. Here is a three basic chemical element inside a stainless steel. So let's find out each chemical element's function for the steel. The first one is chromium. The symbol for chromium is Cr. The function for this kind of chemical element is chromium metal is of high value for its high corrosion resistance. So that means this kind of chemical element will make the steel will never get corrosion, never get rust. And that is the reason why all the stainless steel contain a lot of chromium inside. And the second chemical element is nickel. The symbol for nickel is Ni. The function for this kind of chemical element according to the description from the Wikipedia. Nickel typically increases the tensile strength, toughness, and uh, elastic limit. So this kind of chemical element was going to improve the stainless steel mechanical strength to make it uh, much more stronger to make a component. So nickel and the chromium have different uh, function for the stainless steel, and also nickel and chromium is the most important chemical element inside the stainless steel. According to the standard, the casting stainless steel standard, Aston A351, it contained uh, several different group of stainless steel. The most four kind of stainless steel already listed here, CF3, CF8. So CF3 and CF8 contain a lot of chromium and nickel inside. Combine the chromium and nickel together, it already obtained more than 13% of chemical element inside the steel. So chromium and nickel are very important for the stainless steel. And except CF3, CF8, we also have CF3M, CF8M. It contains M inside the code. M means molybdenum, so that contains more molybdenum inside. So what is this function? What is this chemical element's function? So let's look at the description here. So molybdenum is one kind of chemical element, symbol is MO. Before, we already talked about this kind of chemical element in high temperature steel. This kind of chemical element will make the steel will never get soft in high temperature environment. But in stainless steel, the function are different. According to the description here, molybdenum contribute corrosion resistance to tip 300 stainless steel, especially tape 316. So what is a 316? According to the standard ASME B16.34 material release the table, the material F316 is forging form for the casting CF3M. So that is the reason it contained molybdenum inside. So F316, it contained molybdenum inside. So the function is going to improve the corrosion resistance ability compared with CF3 or 304, the forging form. So that is a basic function for the stainless steel about each chemical element. So next, let's talk about another group of material, forging form, A182 standard. Here is the standard Aston. A182 standard for the forged stainless steel. So let's look at what kind of material in this standard. So first we get F304 and F304L that is very commonly used in valve industry. 
So the basic principle is the same with the casting form of stainless steel CF8 and CF3. It contains a lot of nickel and chromium inside. Combining the nickel and chromium together, it totally obtained almost 13% of chemical element inside this kind of material. So nickel and chromium are very important for the stainless steel. And except the F304 and the F304L, we also have another two kinds of stainless steel for the verb industry. One is F316, another is F316L. So it contained one more chemical element, which is called a molybdenum. So it contained a 223% molybdenum inside. This kind of chemical element we already talked about, it was going to improve the stainless steel corrosion resistance ability. So that is the reason why F31, F316L will perform better than the F304L. So that is a very basic information about the stainless steel. Now we already talked about four kinds of stainless steel in valve industry that include two kinds of standard. One is for the casting, another is for the forging. And also we understand that if the material contains the MO molybdenum inside, that will perform better than another. For example, CF3M will perform better than the CF3 in the corrosion resistant ability. But the question is, if two kinds of material all contain the uh, chemical element uh, molybdenum inside, for example, the 3F3M, CF8M, which one is better? So let's find the answer here. When we're talking about two kinds of material, which one better than another, in stainless steel group, we need to concern two kinds of things. One is corrosion resistance ability, and another is mechanical strength. In the corrosion resistance ability, we already talked about if the material contained molybdenum inside, that one will better than another which don't have molybdenum inside. So CF3M better than CF3, CF8M better than CF8. But we need to compare two kinds of material also by mechanical strength, because mecha mechanical strengths are very important for one kind of material, because we were using this kind of material to make a valve. valve we are going to hold the pressure inside. We need to make the valve safe. So, how to compare two kinds of material by mechanical strength? First, we need to understand what kind of chemical element will make the mechanical strength getting better. So, before we already talk about the carbon steel. Carbon steel contains carbon inside. So, carbon is the main chemical element to make the steel get a better mechanical strength. But carbon also is a problem. Carbon will make the steel getting rust and getting corrosion quickly. So compared with the stainless steel and the carbon steel, you can see, for example, the most common carbon steel, WCB, it contains a lot of carbon. It contains 0.3% carbon inside. But uh, the CF3 just contains 300% carbon inside. So that is the reason why we don't want a lot of carbon inside stainless steel, because Carbon will cause the problem to make the steel getting rust, getting corrosion very quickly. But the problem is we cannot take all the carbon out of the steel because without carbon, the steel will getting very soft. Without carbon, it will weak the material mechanical strength. So we still want some carbon inside the material. So if you compare with two kinds of material in stainless steel, the material have more carbon, the material will get a better mechanical strength. So that means CF8M have better mechanical strength than the CF3M. But CF3M have better corrosion resistance ability than the CF8M. So that is a very basic principle for the relationship be between carbon and the stainless steel. So now we already understand the CF3M, CF8M, which one better than another, and also F 304L, F304, which one better than another, also is very easy to understand because L means low carbon contained and also the F316, the L also means low carbon contained compared with F316. So that is the basic principle for the stainless steel. So that is for today. If you have any question, please leave a comment. If you like my video, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.